Organic Mike here. I want to show you what I've done with my yard this year. I usually just let it grow up and let nature take its course to uh, feed the soil. I've been doing that for probably seven years. I know a good five. And I started digging around about two or three weeks ago, I guess maybe a month ago, and I found a whole bunch of earthworms. So this is my front yard garden. So when you pull up, I got cucumbers, uh, squash, zucchini, and then in between there, I don't know if you can see, but I have uh, purple corn that I planted all around. So I'm, I'm hoping that the uh, purple corn will get strong enough to support the cucumbers. But I think I kind of planted that backwards. I should have planted the corn first and then the cucumbers afterwards. But oh well. We'll see what happens. This is passion vine, sunflowers. This is my front yard garden. This is a bird feeder that I rigged up. Keeps the birds safe. They get fed every morning. Keeps them away from the cats. Um, go around here. This is what I can see from outside my front window. This is my view. So I got peppers, basil, tomatoes, uh, that's parrot's feather growing in the, the pond there. Also planted some moringa trees around here just, just to see if they'll pop up. And I've got some seeds that I'm planting. I'm planting more moringa seeds today. This is the moringa alifarius. I think I'm saying that right. And this is the moringa uh, version that starts with an S and I can't remember how to say it. But uh, there's two different versions of moringa that I found. So, this is the one that I had germination luck with in 2010. I could never get these to germinate, um, so I'm trying things different this year. Instead of a controlled environment where I put them in a little pot with a certain type of soil, I'm just popping these in everywhere and just see what happens. And these seeds are kind of cool. They have this velvety, uh, kind of a velvety feel to them and they're smooth and of course they're white you can see that and they're really pointy on the ends but I'm curious to see how the leaf structure is on this one compared to this this is the common one that everybody gets oh the battery's going dead so anyway I'll cut this video short this is the common moringa tree that I've had good luck with and I'm hopefully to get this one to sprout this year and then over here this video could drop any second so if it does hey subscribe if you like um, I got more tomato plants and I got it to where I can just cruise through my front yard here on the cart and there's some more peppers and I planted some moringa and right in front of us is tomatoes and peppers and there's the John Deere tractor and here's some grapevines excellent grapes black Spanish very good grapes and there's the cucumbers again so that's my front yard garden. I wish more people would do the same. It's a lot of fun. Oh, and there's my little water wheel I made with the, uh, let me see if I can make it over there before the battery dies. I'm normally walking on my videos, but I'm wore out from working so hard yesterday. So that's some dill I put in that bucket, and it's actually working. I cut it off at the base, and it's living. Uh, it's not thriving, but it's living. And that's a baby food jars and a bike wheel and this is also coming off my airlift setup there that's another airlift pump I have down the well see the water coming out of the hand pump and this one's traveling about 300 feet from the well just a little bit of air once you put the air down the well it'll do the work for you till it gets back to equilibrium so that's the beautiful thing about airlift organicmike.com subscribe if you like